How you doing everybody? This is Pat Love back with Pat's Two Cents. Something came to my mind almost a week ago, about four or five days ago. I wasn't sure what to do with it. So I looked this word up. Now when I think of the word sultry, I think of, you know, like a, an attractive woman or something, the way they describe a lady. But what God spoke in my head and I wasn't sure what to do with it, so I spent a few days just looking it up here and there. Sultry times. These are sultry times that we're entering into. Now, when I looked up sultry, then I came up with swelter. I looked up swelter, I came up with stifle, heat, humid, unbreathable, oppressive then the uh one of the original words from way back in the day four or five hundred years ago uh dealt with the word swelter and it's associated with death i mean it just it just got so out there one of them deals with suffering oppression it it's very a lot of discomfort um confinement i mean it was just really really bizarre to come up with that word when god brought it to my mind in the in the phrase sultry times so i'm saying this yeah these are the last days we're entering into the tribulation period we know that and this is the beginning of sorrows but we have to be careful because one thing that I have seen, I have, I have noticed this. I've never seen so many born-again Christians getting caught up in witchcraft, getting caught up in the occult, new age, things like uh, tarot cards and psychic palm reading and they, they see no harm in it, but the Bible specifically talks against us consulting with, with wizards that peep and mutter and mediums and oh, stargazers. And, you know, we're not to consult with that. We are to consult with God. God considers all of that an abomination. So when we go through life, and we're going through these last days and we wonder why things are so chaotic we are living in a world of confliction of contradiction of volatile anger and issues and explosive outbursts and we don't know where all that's coming from we have opened many 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 doors to the demonic through our own choices because we are living a life that is diametrically opposed to what god has called us to live because we have entered into paganism we have dabbled in the occult we have toyed with incest we have tinkered with adultery. We have gone swimming with fornication. We have joined arms with violence and treachery. And we really expect things to go well with us. Why? Well, because I named the name of Jesus. And I ask God to forgive me for my sins. I said the sinner's prayer. Ergo, I am saved. But are you safe? Because anytime you do anything that goes out of the, of the circle of what God wants, out of his standards, out of his ways, you have e exited the ark of safety. You are now at the mercy of the elements of evil which are the doors you have opened by your choices 
by how you entertain yourself, how you pass your time. Listen, there's a scripture in the Bible that talks about what God warns. He says, I will remove the hedge. Hedge is a hedge of protection. You have got to walk the straight and narrow, especially now, if you want to be able to depend on the hedge of protection of God. My question to you is, are you really serious about God? Or is God a rabbit's foot to you? Is God a good luck charm? Is God a bellhop that you only call when you need a little service? What is God to you? Do you really take him seriously? Or do you see him as another one of your patsies that you can use anytime you choose? And when you don't need him, you don't want him, you put him down, let him collect dust. Don't call me. I'll call you. Really? We're living in too dangerous of a time to play those kind of games with God. You can't take those kind of chances, you guys. Yes, God loves us. Yes, we live in a dispensation of mercy. But God ain't no patsy. And he's nobody's fool. And he said out of his own mouth, My spirit will not always strive with thee. So we have to be careful now, knowing that we're entering into the tribulation period, knowing that we are at the beginning of sorrows. You are not safe when you're not living in the ark of safety. When you step out of bounds in sports, the ball goes to the other team. Quit stepping out of bounds or your ball is going to belong to Satan to do with as he pleases. Please, line up now. If you don't know the word, read the word of God so that you know what to obey. That's your warning. God bless you. Come on now, let's line up. We got to get this thing together. It's, it'll be pitiful for, for there to be uh, six million people claiming the name of Jesus and only 500 or, or 2,000 get in out of millions. That's why Jesus said, broad is the way that leads to destruction. Narrow, narrow is the way to righteousness. Find the right road, you guys. Get on it and stay on it.